Today we are walking up to the Torre del Aguilo, which can be accessed from La Cala de Finestrat or Villa Hayosa. At the top to the north you will see some breathtaking views of La Cala Beach stretching all the way to Benidorm and even Calpe in the distance on a clear day. To the south you will see Villa Hayosa and onwards to Alicante. I hope you enjoy the walk with me. The vegetation that you are going to see is typical of the Marina Baixa mountains, mainly Aleppo pine. Also there are remains of old cultivation such as olive and carob trees which were abandoned due to lack of profitability. In addition there are shrubs which have adapted to a climate of a lot of sunshine and little rain. They are plants with small narrow leaves, for example the mastic tree, needle grass, common heather and thyme. The wildlife that you are able to observe is mainly birds. From the woods you can come across blackbirds, turtle doves and the kestrel. From the summit you can see marine birds such as the yellow-legged gull and cormorant which are bigger and black in colour. If you keep an eye out you can find other animals such as rabbits and foxes. With luck you could even spot a group of bottlenose dolphins which live along our coast. The Villa Hoyosa Defence District covered the whole of the region. There were four castles and five towers. This is the oldest. Between 1500 and 1750, these towers were used to warn where the North African Corsair fleets were sighted. These Berbers, like the privateers here, seized people in order to demand a ransom or to sell them as slaves. To give the alarm, a bonfire on the terrace with a lot of smoke was made. If there was no danger, a pike staff was erected with branches hung from it. The tower was manned by three soldiers and had a small cannon. La Villa Hoyosa is the capital of the Marina Baixa district. The area is surrounded by mountains which come down to the sea. The tracks to the Marina Alta were the hilts of Calpe and Rates and the Smugglers Pass. They were very difficult winding paths so they couldn't move carts. Because of that, Marina Baixa was closely linked to the sea. The Aguilo Tower was very important because it overlooked a quarter of the Kingdom of Valencia. A fortress was built on the Sierra Bernia in 1562 to combat the returning Moors. The bandits from the 17th to the 19th centuries, such as Pinet, de Tarbena and El Mascarat, gave their names to the Smugglers Pass and the Canyon of Mascarat. <laughs> 